Good morning, everybody, and welcome on behalf of the European Commission and the German Presidency of the Council to the 2020 SME Assembly. I'm Shona Murray, and I'll be your guide for the first ever online version of the annual SME Assembly, which we've given the title Building a Sustainable and Resilient Future Together. We have uh, discovered or rediscovered uh, the importance and the value of a uh, sound and sustainable uh, SME infrastructure. I will never forget that I started my life as an entrepreneur uh, in, uh, in an SME. So um, uh, uh, that's why it is very close to my heart. The crisis is only unfortunately accelerating bad payment behavior. Companies are accumulating liquidity by um, lengthening their payments to their suppliers, even through larger companies have much easier access, of course, as we know, um, uh, to uh, um, uh, funding than SMEs. So if we do not address this issue, a large number of SMEs will close down. For each invoice that is not paid on time, or sometimes even not paid at all, uh, four more invoices will not be paid. In one way, they are starting to show examples of those that have made it, not only those who don't ma make it. So I think it's kind of, I hope, really, really hope that in the beginning of next year, it feels like New Year's Eve is something really special this year. And, and for, from them, we're going, going to look forward. I really hope so. And it feels like um, there are new, uh, exciting businesses starting up also. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's certainly led to a huge amount of innovative thinking, hasn't it, right across the board. Um, you know, it's interesting to see, not just at business level, but, you know, authorities have had to think differently. Everybody has had to think differently right across Europe. Let me maybe add to this, and thanks for your remarks, Valerio. So for me, sovereignty, right, the definition would be not to feel like a victim um, that cannot act, but like somebody who can actually make a choice and is in a position to make a choice and act between different options, right? We've actually been able to help quite a lot of companies to structure their processes in a way to overcome the repercussions of COVID right now. When something like this comes in, you have to take swift action. More swift than you think you should do. Provide tax incentives or private investments in SMEs and a reduction of the debt equity bias in taxation of private companies. This is another example where Europe would gain by providing European support rather than national support. Keep in mind, the good practice is there. There is no need to, to invent it from scratch. It's important now that we show to the decision makers that the practice exists so that new policy can be based on what works in reality. Think about establishing early warning mechanisms and help your companies review their activities in the direction of growth and successful operations. We are at a critical point in time. We are recovering, hopefully, from the pandemic, or we will be uh, in the not too distant future. Um, we should have learned a lot of lessons and among the lessons are the importance of science, the importance of good institutions, the importance of global cooperation, the importance of innovation. What we need to make sure is that we can actually capitalize on the Schumpeterian entrepreneurship, but that we don't introduce a pick the winner strategy. I think, uh, you know, one important thing is, uh, you know, of course there will be a lot of uncertainty and we don't know how long it will going to last. But one important message is that business, this is the time now for business leaders to show to all their stakeholders that they are not really only looking at economic and financial aspects. And they made such programs that we couldn't have seen in the last three or four years. So the, the crisis accelerated this transition. It also uh, triggered a new reflection among the citizens on how they would like their future to be, how we would like the future of our children to be. 
the German government was very quick at launching uh, various initiatives to keep uh, small businesses afloat during the pandemic. So let us commence with the European Enterprise Promotion Awards. And the winner is Portugal Bike Value. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of the 2020 SME Assembly. COVID had also done a lot of good, the world of good, because it has forced us to rethink so many things. Given that systems thinking is complex and seemingly costly, how do we make this point simple and easy to understand and implement both at policy level and at SME level? Well, I found there's maybe two entry points that are most important. And one is on how we define the problem. And we've seen that very often also when we try to do transformation research and um, embed research in actual change in society. I'm very happy to welcome you to our panel on access to finance and recovery. SMEs need financing. Of course, they need a good business plan. They need entrepreneurial capabilities. They need good people, human capital, etc. Any advice on how to reconcile complexity and SMEs capacity to actually implement? I think one of the challenges often the SMEs face is that just trying to understand the web of regulation. Across many countries, especially in Europe, economies and societies are grappling with a brutal second wave of infections while still adapting and dealing with the consequences and fallout from the first one that hit us last spring. There is no denying that the COVID pandemic has made things uh, all a bit different this time. I have to say this is actually one of my favorite items uh, in the SME assembly. My name is Sabine Kersens, I'm a Dutch system engineer and I'm here to tell you about my essay on a single startup scale of market. Yes, so now the delegates have spoken and they chose Sabine Kersens as a winner. Really excited to hear this news. Um, really excited to um, help and be part of a single start scale market. Well, first of all, uh, I would like to say that it is a really great honor to speak on such a great event. The annual SME Assembly is not about SMEs, but it is for SMEs. I also would like to mention again, um, it's really just a pity that we could have not welcomed uh, all of you uh, to Berlin for this uh, EU SME Assembly. I think the 2020 SME Assembly is unique in many aspects. Unique because we had for the first time a Nobel laureate giving the Schumpeter lecture. Unique because we had over 1,200 delegates. Unique because for the first time we held the Assembly online. It will not surprise you though, that I really express the hope that this will, this will be a one-off. Goodbye from Brussels and here's to looking forward to a 2021 SME Assembly in Slovenia. Thank you.